I'm She's Teresa and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I just spent two and a half hours in Sephora. <sighs> like I literally need a nap because I'm exhausted from just being in Sephora. I walked into Sephora acting like I had no idea about makeup. I told the Sephora worker that I'm trying to get into makeup and I kind of want some new things to what I use. I just normally wear foundation. I didn't use the words like contour and, and bronzer and blush and such because I kind of wanted her to get the vibes that I don't really wear makeup. So I just kind of went in there pretending that I knew nothing and I walked out with a bag. So, <laughs> spent some money, put a little damage in the bank account. But I needed it anyways. I'm bored of the makeup that I've been using. So I kind of wanted to switch it up. And it, I thought it was a good idea to walk in and pretend like I knew nothing. So I got new makeup even when I wanted makeup. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's just dive into the video. And let's see the makeup that the Sephora worker recommended for me. And see if I like it. So let's go. I didn't actually end up walking out with a new primer because I just, I like the primer that I use. So I already have my moisturizer on and my primer. So we're gonna get right into the foundation. So I walked in there with full intentions to get a brand new type of foundation. And I think I was in Sephora for that long because we were just trying to color match and it was honestly, the most stressful thing you can ever do. I know Sephora lighting is, it's like, when you go into Sephora, you'd never want to walk out with the foundation that they match you with because their lighting is made for you to think that it matches your skin and it makes you look perfect and flawless. Like that's just what their lighting and their mirrors are for. Like it tricks you and it's so frustrating because you, you'll be there all day like me. So. Like I said, I went in there to get foundation that I don't use, but I ended up walking out with another Fenty Beauty foundation. But this time I walked out with a different shade. Currently I use 300, which I don't like the undertones. It's more peachy of an undertone. And yes, it looks great on camera or in the mirror, but once you go outside and look in your car mirror, which is the deadliest mirror you'll ever use, it had like peachy undertones. I just, I couldn't, I didn't like it. I knew it wasn't the shade. So we actually went up a shade and we changed the tone of the foundation. So this one is 310. I wanted to use a different one. So I tried the new Bobbi Brown Longwear foundation. I tried the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I tried the Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation. And I literally, I was done. I was just over it. And then that's when I told her, well, normally I use the Fenty Beauty foundation. So she's like, you know what? If you like it and it works for you, let's just try to find a new shade. So this is what we got. I went outside the mall with a handheld mirror and I was like looking in the light and people were literally staring at me like I was crazy. But like I know Sephora lighting is horrible so I needed the good lighting to see. So keep in mind that I did get a little warmer than my actual skin tone because I know that now winter's ending and spring's coming and my skin's gonna change a little more. I know that I needed a darker color because I can't stick with a light winter color anymore. I don't really care if you can tell the difference between my skin as long as it looks good. So I wanted to look a little healthier, so this is why we have this, and I'm talking too much, so let's put this on. So I also just broke my beauty blender, like it was like, I, it needed to go, but I keep forgetting to buy a new one. But I did buy the Morphe beauty sponge, so I'm gonna use that in this video because I just, I can't use my beauty blender because it's shot, like it's done. Okay, so let's put her on. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of liking this, like just the way the sponge feels. What I've noticed so far with this beauty sponge is it soaks in a lot of the product. Like I normally use two pumps of this foundation with my beauty blender and like two pumps is gone. This does feel better and it does apply it better. It's just, it takes a lot of the product, which sucks. So as you can see, it's kind of a little darker than my skin tone. It's a lot warmer, but like I said, as the summer approaches, my skin's gonna change a little bit. The camera like really emphasizes the color. Like I said, I'm not hating it. Adds more life to me because in the winter time I get so pale that I actually look sick. The beauty sponge could be better, feels nice, but 
it takes up way too much product. So in my bag of things, she actually told me, oh, I use um, a concealer called Shape Tape. I'm like, oh, I heard of that, blah, 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 like I've seen that before. She's like, it's honestly probably the best thing. And I was like, oh, can I, can I try that? And she's like, oh, they don't carry it in stores. Like it's an online thing. And first we went to NARS which I have tried NARS before, I didn't tell her that, but I liked NARS and that's when I switched to Tape Shape. I was down to get NARS again because I haven't had it for a while, but then we were trying to get the right color for me and it just, none of them were working because either it were too pale or they were too dark and like my skin tone right now, it's really hard to match. So it wasn't working. So then she was like, hey, Urban Decay came out with a new one. Do you want to try it? And I was like, sure, because I have no idea what I'm doing. So we ended up with the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer, the 24 hour wear matte finish, oil free, and it is in the shade Medium Neutral. Let's put that on. So I'm gonna use the Beauty Sponge again and just use the tipped part of it to blend this all out. So what I'm noticing so far with trying to blend this all out that it dries really quickly. What I've noticed so far is that it does brighten up the parts of the face that I want to be brightened up, but it does say that it is full coverage and like there's some parts of my face that I need to cover up a little more and it's not really covering it up as much as I would want it to do. So I'm just gonna add another layer to it and see how that helps. Okay, I honestly, I don't think I like this very much. It's not working for me. I feel like uh, my arm is actually hurting from like pouncing it into my face. It's so dense, is that the word I'm looking for? I had such high expectations for this sponge and it's honestly letting me down. So next in my bag, <laughs> this is kind of, I, okay. So backstory behind this, I told the girl that I kind of, I wanted to do like all the makeup steps. Like I wanted to do all the defining of the face and everything, but I just said, like I watched some YouTube videos and they were defining the face and such. I was like, I really want to do that thing where they make it darker around the, like the cheekbones and the forehead. And I was like, I don't really remember what it's called. She's like, oh, contour. I'm like, yeah, that. And I was like, I've seen YouTubers use a darker foundation stick and do that. And she's like, yeah, you could totally do that. She said like the best contouring kit that she knew was the Kat Von D um, shade and light palette. I saw it and I, there was all these different shades on it that I didn't want. Like one of them was working for me, but I'm like, I'm not buying all this if I'm just going to use one color. So then we went to the hourglass section of Sephora. And so we have the seamless finished foundation stick. And this is just to contour. I'm really nervous about this because I've never used like a cream contouring product before. I always stuck with just powders. So this is what we're gonna use today. This is the foundation stick in the color Sable. Sable? 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 I don't know. But we're gonna try this. I'm really nervous. Like, oh, I thought I was done with this, but I'm not. So we're gonna put the line there. Ooh, this is scary. Here. A few lines around the forehead and that's what we're gonna try to blend out now hmm. <sighs> it's a lot of work okay so most of this is just becoming a flop for me because I don't know what's happening but it, nothing's working is it just me is it the sponge I might go get my beauty blender because I'm tired of using this like I I'm I'm done I'm done with this Okay, so I have my old beauty blender, like I, I, I broke it, like I ripped it, it's, it needs to go in the garbage, but I saved it just in case that beauty sponge didn't work and it didn't work. So I'm just going to use this to finish this video. <laughs> Gold. So, so far I've only really liked the Fenty Beauty Foundation. The rest of her recommendations weren't that great, but hey, like you're not gonna get the perfect person to work with you in Sephora. Like you need someone who has the same complexion as you, the same skin type as you, but that's okay. These are my Sephora recommendations. So far, not liking it so much, but we still have another product to use. Is the last thing in my bag is the Bobbi Brown Bronzer. I've heard good things about this. I've been wanting the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in the color dark, I believe, for so long. It's sold out everywhere online and it's been months and it's, it's I don't know, it's not coming back. They're not remaking it, like, I don't know. So I had to move on, find something better and I found this bronzer, which the lady at Sephora recommended for me, which was a different lady from the lady who matched my foundation, but whatever, it was still a Sephora worker. So I bought it and let's put it on. I don't really know if I was supposed to contour first or last. Now that I think about it, I have no idea, but oh well, we're gonna contour and then bronze. 
never. So I'm gonna dip it in with my Morphe brush and we're just going to bronze up the face. So when it came to the bronzer, I wanted something to add a little color to the face. A lot of people think that contour and bronzer is the exact same thing, but contour emphasizes the features in your face, like your cheekbones and your jawline, whereas bronzer is just to add that little, like that sun kiss warm tone to your face, but they're not the exact same thing. Okay, now that I've used all the recommendations from the Sephora worker, I'm gonna go finish off the rest of the face, and then I'll come right back and talk to you about how I feel about the recommendations that the Sephora worker gave me, and how well they're doing with my skin type and skin tone. So be right back. So I've been gone for a while. I finished the rest of my makeup. I did a couple of things and I am back now. Let's just go over the makeup that the Sephora worker recommended for me. So the first thing that I was in Sephora for was foundation. We ended up with the Fenty Beauty in the number 310. Normally, I was sitting at the 300, but we wanted to switch um, the t undertone. And, um, I don't know how I feel about it. I love the foundation. I love the way it feels on my skin. I love how it's not full coverage, but it can be built. For right now, it is a little too warm for my skin tone. I know I wanted that, and I'm probably gonna use it anyways because I'm, let's be honest, I'm out of my other foundation. I really don't wanna go back to Sephora to get another one. So I would give this a nine out of 10. I 100% recommend the Fenty Beauty foundation to anyone. It is probably the best foundation well, at least for my skin tone, it's good for oily skin and it's good for normal skin. So I 100% recommend this if you haven't tried it. But I give it a 9 out of 10 only because it is just slightly the wrong shade. But there is no perfect foundation shade out there. So just going to give it a 9 out of 10. The next product that the Sephora worker recommended to me was this Urban Decay All Nighter Full Coverage Concealer. It's their newest concealer. Um, I mean, it it did cover up my blemishes slightly, but as the time was going on, I was noticing that it was creasing under my eye and it just, it could do better. I give this a five out of 10. The next product that we have is the Hourglass Foundation Stick. I use this for my contour. I probably could have went up another darker shade just to make my cheekbones and such pop a little more, but for the first time using a stick foundation for contour, I actually loved it. It blended very well. I honestly, I give this one an eight out of 10, only because the color could have been darker. The other part of beauty that I used on my face was this Morphe beauty sponge. And no, the Sephora worker did not recommend this to me, but I've seen a lot of beauty gurus use this on YouTube and I thought that I would try it out. It finally came in the mail. Uh, since my beauty blender should be tossed in the garbage, I decided that I would use this for this look today. I started off and I thought that I loved it, but now that I used it for most of the products, I realized it sucks in a lot of the product. It wastes a lot of it. It doesn't blend that well. I mean, Morphe tried. Out of 10, i probably give this a four. So that's all the products that the Sephora worker recommended for me. I'm very grateful. I was there for a very long time and she had a lot of patience and I'm really grateful that she helped me find all these products. Yes, maybe they were flops, but at least she tried and they still worked. They just didn't work to the best that I wanted them to work, but I'm still grateful that she really tried and she, like I said, had a lot of patience because I was there for two and a half hours. Literally, I kept saying sorry to her and she's like, this is my job, honestly, it is okay. So I'm very thankful for her. I'm still gonna use two out of the three products that she gave me. The last thing that I wanted to review were the eyelashes that I put on. These are the Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. I usually use the style Doa's or Miami's, but I remembered that I still had these ones to try. I put them on and they are glamorous. Like. I feel like I'm going to fly away. I still love my Lily Lashes in the style Miami's a lot better. So out of 10 for first time use, I would give it um, 8.5. 8.5 out of 10, love them, and they're still amazing, 
and I 100% recommend Lily Lashes. They're on the pricier side, but if you wear lashes a lot, then you are going to love any type of Lily Lashes. And that's a fact. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot that you guys are actually loving my videos and you're coming back. I see you guys coming back. Don't you worry. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Click that little notification bell and I will see you next time in my new video. Bye queens. Yes queens. Yeah.